Hello, welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic is quality audit. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is my first executive series video, please go back and review the introduction. You can review the video description for links to any supporting information and an outline of the material we'll cover today. In my executive series videos, I walk through each quality system element in less than two minutes. We have a standard agenda which consists of four items. You can find those in the progress bar below. If you stick around to the end of this video, I will give you three bonus questions that you can ask that will highlight that you understand the requirement, but also give you some good information about your quality management system. Our requirement today, quality audit, comes directly from 820.22 and ISO 1345 section 8.2.4. Quality audit in five words. Self-scrutiny, find and fix problems. At least once a year, you will audit every element of your quality management system. During that audit, you are checking two levels of compliance. The first, the documentation, the actual procedures and policies and work instructions that they meet and fulfill the regulatory requirements. The second part is that the day-to-day -day practice, what you actually do day-to-day, -day, matches those policies, procedures, and work instructions. The individuals conducting your quality audits, they have to be trained and they have to be independent of the process that they are auditing. How do I know this requirement is working? First. I have an internal audit schedule that captures every quality system element and each element is audited once a year. Second, I have a list of trained auditors and those auditors are independent of the processes that they audit. Third, my audits, they actually find non-conformances. And then finally, quality audits are used as a learning opportunity and a tool within your organization. How do I know it's not working? Well, first, my internal audits find little to no findings. Second, I utilize external consultants to do all of my audits. Third, external audits find more problems and nonconformances than internal audits. And then finally, serious quality problems are a surprise to top management. And now for those three bonus questions. Did we have any critical or major internal audit findings last year? Second, how is risk management used when we develop our internal audit schedule. And then finally, how many internal employees are trained and qualified as internal auditors? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.